Welcome back everyone to Old Rural Blues. I'm your host, Mr. McLovin. Right now, we've got a little bit of an issue. Lanny's his cohorts demand territory. We're going to deal with this, which is not very good because I just checked the focus tree for Lanius. And, well, eventually, I believe he can go to war with Lubbock, which is not bad. They want to take Texas, obviously. But they want to go to lo get loan starts from our territories, our territories. So we're going to end up in a little conflict between us and Lanny's, which is not very good. Even though we're technically preparing for a certain conflict against a certain uh, Mexican overlord. Or what he calls himself as a Mexican overlord. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully we can do well. Just in case, I'm sending these guys up next to Lubbock. Just in case. Because, well, let's hope, let's hope that we can do well. We need to make way more divisions. And just prepare ourselves. You guys are ready for these guys down here. Oh, that is not looking very good, my friends. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's increase this. Oh, they went to war with us. Um, yeah, we could use more equipment or whatever we need. Oh, we need a lot more fire teams and fortifications. Wow. That's pretty darn bad. There you go, just in case. Get more weaponry, just in case. Go do some of that and go do some of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, there you go. And there you go, too. Just in case. Cool. We've got quite a few comments to go through as well. Uh, first of all, someone recommends that we should... Research more power armor, as well as get some more power stations, which we will. Uh, but let's keep going down, for, at least for now, for the refined warfare. We want to get through our land doctrine ASAP. Uh, Assassin City, as well as the patrolmen. Assassin City, patrolmen. No, I, I think we're okay for now. We're okay for now. So, we got to continue doing our, con our um, constitution. I cannot think of the word there. Holy cow. Woo! The constitution of the provisional republic of Texas. Not bad. That wouldn't be too bad. Air range would be pretty nice. Ooh, get more actual political power. That could be pretty darn beneficial. Um, let's keep going with this stuff, because we need to do freedom of religion, the legislature, we need to do immigration, so many wastelanders are moving to Texas in search for a better life. Let us formalize a process for these wastelanders to become citizens of the Lone Star Republic, and if you didn't know, that over here where this drop-down arrow is, you get the Constitution, which we should probably do that now. So, for the first article of uh, the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Others, the right to bear arms... The freedom of movement, in which we get less, more subject to time, which is not good, but infrastructure production speed, nice. And then we're also going to throw in something like, nothing else here, okay. I'll put down here, nothing. And how about, oh, I already had that in there, cool. So we'll see what happens when we can do the next stuff. We're obviously at war still. We're waiting for the Alamo chapter to die, and then Santa Ana will probably go to war with us. Which won't be very, very good. So, yeah. Research, we're doing that already. And I asked you guys yesterday whether we should use basic laser weaponry or war equipment. Now, there's support for both sides, but ultimately, there is more support at the time of this recording for common weaponry. Common, common weaponry, just for now. Advanced weaponry, common weaponry, which seems a little bit different. Actually, no. Yeah, I mean, technically, we did, we were going to go common weaponry, and we are. It's just that... I think we had different guns here, didn't we, last time with the Texan Brotherhood? We had brush guns, and a lot of you guys said you wanted brush guns. Man, I'll be honest. Like I think I said in the last video, like, the Provisional Republic of Texas seems kind of lacking. I mean, there's a little more polish or flavor that we could throw into here that would make it a little bit, maybe, a little more interesting, perhaps, but... Yeah, I don't know. As much as we like Texas, and the the Provisional Republic of Texas, it seems like it just... Just, it's missing. It feels like it's missing some things. But at the same time, we need to start coring some more stuff here. So I don't know if we, we can get... Actually, because we eventually get this. A core stone in Texas. Gain a 10% reduction in coring costs. We could wait. I don't feel like it, though. Um, yeah. Yeah, we should probably just go ahead and do this. Now, this isn't part of Texas. But maybe it really should be. You know, Louisiana? Maybe it should be part of Texas. Factories. Which one has more factories? Uh, this one does. Three versus two. Usually three is a bigger number than two. Not always, but usually. Ah, screw it, we'll do both, why not? I, we're going to get 10% more political power anyway, so. Get more factories, the scavengers triumph, very nice, a mighty step into the future. Oh, Scent Security S Solution Station. Would you look at that? More infantry technology research speed, and we got some immigration. And next we'll do Breaking the Shackles? Let's do Freedom of Religion. There's an, been an oddly vigorous debate about the Constitution's guarantee for of relig freedom of religion. The old Constitution barred off us to atheists, but some, of the Aust some, but some from Austin think that this is absurd. Are we not a modern civilization? 
Maybe we are, maybe we ain't. Education. Since our arrival as a brotherhood in Texas, we've educated those who would join us to make scientists and soldiers. Now that duty extends to farmers and producers of the provisional Republic of Texas as well. Drafting our brotherhood ideas into a more humanitarian form, we've put forth these articles for inclusion of the Constitution. Thank you for the recommendation, Paladin. Wow. Emergency relief funding? Um, so, because we have certain things. Freedom of movement has to be here. Have provision of freedom movement when signed. The man right to bear arms when signed as well. Which is 260 days. It would be a while. Get some more army XPs too as well. Send us some manor prospectors because he can. We can use more, actually, some more political power too to get some more stability, which would be kind of nice to grab. We don't need war measures right now. Organizational relations, we don't need that either. We got plenty of money for that stuff. So, not too bad. Freedom of religion and touch of fertilizer. Let's do the legislature. No! Legislature, Texas legislature, desk. Very cool. Very, very informative. Alright, up next. We're looking pretty good. We're not advanced, which kind of sucks, but whatever. And someone did recommend we do get some more power stations as well. Basic generators. Yeah, we're going to need some power stations, ain't we? Yes, we will. So, the Alamo is holding out fairly okay for now. Literally surrounded on three sides. Uh, lower tariffs. Uh, here's a gift. I don't really care. We got enough money for now. I'm really not too concerned about that. We could create this, but I think we're going to create our own thing anyway. So, yeah, let's wait. Oh, we're building a lot of stuff. We're getting more military factories now. I'm glad we built up a lot of infrastructure. That's pretty nice. Let's get three and then keep making some more air bases. Air bases are what could potentially win us the war. All right. Heavy patrols looking not too bad. Really not too bad at all. Um, Anti-tank. It's just slightly more piercing. It's really not much. We're going to go with the dogs. We shall run with the dogs. And everyone's going to be become heavy patrol since, as we established, the lawkeeper battalions, they're okay. They're just like... Enforcers, just not as, you know, they're okay. They're like enforcers. So without those extra buffs that we could, we got as a Texan brother, I don't really see the point of using them. So let's go ahead and do breaking shackles. Those who formerly resided over pizzas of our united Texas bound our citizens. Though they wish to continue this exploitation, such violations of rights will not stand. Oh, would you look at that. Good. Actually, we're probably going to need you as an extra army here. So we have you guys down here. I'm going to need you guys probably right here too, just in case. You never know when Santa Ann is going to get all frisky with us. Let's go with Richard Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs. And maybe get a little more money from the cannery. Or we could wait and get some more stability first. There you go. Very nice. Breaking them shackles. After that, we'll probably do the executive. Cho Bang and the Texan brother have very different ideas of justice. Which one shall prevail? Well, the strip power armor will prevail first. Followed up with simple servos. That's who's going to prevail. We currently get 1.41 political power every single day. Not bad. Refugees. All right. Homestead demands right to bear arms. Homesteads have been facing threats from the border. Horn kangaroos from the Chihuahuan deserts have destroyed all of the all the t tomatillos. They want to make sure their arsenals of rad throws will be safe once the republic is fully formed. I think we wrote that one last time too. Um, sure. Yeah. Why not? Refugees. Lannis' conquest over our neighbors has displaced many of those living in the area. They have recently settled in large tent cities just inside of our borders. They seek protection and the freedoms we offer. As their numbers grow, they ask for a guarantee in our constitution. To support these refugees, they'll need to be set aside some funds and news of our support that will surely spread. We welcome them with open arms. We cannot support them here. Ah, give them, why not? And which one are we doing? Executive? Yeah, yeah we're we'll doing the executive next. Very nice. And then we're going to do the judiciary. Joe Bang and the Texan brother have very different ideas of justice. Who shall prevail? That's not too much different from the other one. Okay. Whatever. Promote. Oh. We got a little bit of a storm here. A radiation storm. That ain't good. Making sure y'all are the best, strongest versions of yourself that you can be. Go and train too. That'd be good. And duplicate everything you've got. So we've got some casts, fighters. We're going to put them all, just a whole bunch of extra stuff around here too. Because we need to make more planes. We just make more everything. My goodness. My holy goodness. The executive. Very, very nice. Followed up with the judiciary. Thank you very much. Which we should be able to get this all done before that little timer goes on. So we'll see. Unity Boston. I'd love to kill you, but we gotta wait. Now, ooh, once Lovett goes, what what what's Lanny's doing right now? The lumber mills. We're not doing that yet. They're trying to fight us, but whatever. The highest branch of the Texas tree. Texas tree. Texas primary powers desk. All right. Not bad. And we'll probably do weeks to months. Careful negotiations. Convention of the 12th of December, or whenever we're actually going to do this, 2280. It might be 2281, but probably 2280. 
Uh, TBR is not too bad. Clear the way. That'd be kind of nice. Ooh, war equipment's pretty good. Yeah, get some more defense. Common weaponry. It's a little bit ahead of time. We're going to grab it anyways. Nice. Four more days. Not bad. Convention. That's convention time, my friends. Hopefully we get to see it in that hotel, the justice of the peace. All the Brotherhood and Chobanger allies have very different takes on the law. The Texan Brotherhood has never bothered to formalize its legal code, preferring a rough and ready frontier justice. In contrast, Lone Stars excel like things with contracts, like contracts and judges. Joe Bang believes that the Republic of Texas needs a formal judicial system to promote economic development, while the Brotherhood thinks justice should be kept at the local level. Keats, for his part, is also skeptical, letting towns directly appoint their judges, which will protect super mutant minorities. Armed posses that served us so, served us so well so far... Cho and Keats could carry the day. Judges shall be appointed by Congress. Nah, armed posses. Deputize everybody and everything you see that is Texan. Do that. They found nothing. Well, that is just big, sucky moment, isn't it? And flexibility command. I never use this one. Never use it. I should use it sometime in the campaign, but not this campaign. Not this one. And what were we looking at? I think it was this stuff. Uh, we're doing that stuff down there. War propaganda. Still making a lot of money, refugees. Uh, I think we're doing whatever this one, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. We got plenty of refugees, weeks to months. Texas Constitutional Convention Extensions underscore desk. Equality and uniformity of taxation. I guess that we have to get taxed. Oh, what breaks my heart? Grain solicitations. How much we get? No, that's not bad. Uh, try that. Why not? 1770. Oh, what a great year. After that, careful negotiations. Oh, education. Well, Texas Elongated Deliberations Desk. Thank you for your recommendations, Paladins. Um, I think the game is breaking a little bit. Well, maybe not breaking, but it's just kind of... I'd say get a little derpy here, because it's like, oh, education? Refugees for the third or fifth time? Which I understand there would be, like, different ways of refugees and such, but, man... We got it once. I think we understand the situation. Somewhat. There you go. Ooh, we can just still do that stuff, yeah. Weeks to months. Careful negotiations. Cool. Cornerstone of Texas. We After this, we will look at all the things where we need to sign. And then we'll do it. Hopefully. Unless, unless you know, everything breaks down. 9,000 manpower, not bad. Keep training, guys. You're not, you're not perfect. But you're looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn good. Especially with mobile fortifications, which each division only uses 10 of. But that ain't too bad. Simple servos. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I love it. That's not bad. Scavenge PA, which gives you more power armor than the Vault Tech one, because that one gives you 24. 55 hardness, 4 defense, 6 defense, 60 hardness. Yeah, Vault Tech power armor. Not really bueno. Careful negotiations. Cool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our Constitution, which sucks if we can't scroll up like this. So we got that one. And over here, after this, we're going to do what? There's a lot of freedom of doing stuff here. Oh, we need more... No, we have more political power. Oh, right to private property? Alright, cool. This one, uh, can we throw anything in here? It doesn't look like it. Freedom of movement, freedom of movement, freedom of movement. We got a lot of freedom of movements. Um, I think I think this is definitely glitched. Um, yeah, it, it feels pretty darn glitched to me. There's not much we can really do about this. Look how many articles we have here. Maybe you're not supposed to play as a Texan Brotherhood and get this stuff done. And um, we, oh, uh, let's go back up. So we got all those for the first one. Section two, or article two, I should really say. We've got, okay, so we want an election and the Texan something. Office of election, command power increase, power of the veto, political power gain. Point two is not bad. Compliance gain could be good, but once you get enough compliance, it means nothing. Really, the political power is where it's at. Command power ain't bad. Conscription factor, we are going to have enough manpower. Power of the veto. Article 3, Provisions for Edumacation. Mandatory funding, so you lose caps, but you get more conscription factor, factory efficiency. You get more caps income. We already have emergency relief. Mandated funding. Wait, do we already have that one? Taxation of residents. Uh, get more caps, I guess. Why not? Oh, this is cool. This seems a little glitchy. Equality and uniformity of taxation. Oh, wait. We already did this one. All right. And that's all we can do, because we already have a... Three times or something. Suffrage? Suffrage of man. Stability. Suffrage of woman. Wait, do we... If we do suffrage of woman, does, does that disenfranchise the men? Um... Well, I'll go with suffrage of men, just because Rusk is probably a dude. 
probably. So, sign. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can do. So just confirm. There we go. Mr. Ross. Uh, oh, if he is, it, if he's a Mr. Okay, there we go. Cornerstone, Texas. Texas Constitution sign desk. 10% reduction corn cost, more political power. Pretty nice. At least we got a constitution, I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah, well, well we're trying to do it. <laughs> we're trying to do it, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what you want us to do. I mean, we're literally trying to sign the document right now. We're, we've already put the provisions in, I hope. Patient teacher ain't too bad. Defense of core territory. I'm a reformer ain't too bad. I want to kill off. Uh, actually, once they die, do we get her? We might be able to get Catherine Tooney back, which would be really nice, actually. Really, really good. Cornerstone, Texas, thank you very much. Well, it's all been signed. Let's go and do the form the Texan Defense Bureau. While an army will do plenty for us, an intelligence bureau might help protect us from, from more invisible threats. A lone assassin could do more damage than an army of mutants, and we'd be fools to look past the dangers of either. Wow, look at that, PP. Now we got everything here that we really wanted to. Let's go F7. Let's just core this stuff. 285, that's, that's still pretty darn high. Holy crap. Woof! But this one should have a major reduction, because it's the large territories and a 10% reduction. Okay, never mind. Wow, okay, that was... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's Louisiana's all core that we need to right now. Um, You know, I, I want to say that I want to take on Lanius. But as soon as I do, then these guys are probably going to come and die. And then we'll have to deal with th these guys over here. Wow, we're already done building stuff? I, I don't believe you, but I kind of have to. We're going to need a lot more military factories, so go right ahead, guys. Tons of millies. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. When you're done with that, get more radar everywhere. Which will turn into a mess. Uh, fall of the Chichen Itza. Not bad. Request the tariffs. There you go. I don't really care. I guess you can build that there. That'd be good as well. Common weaponry is pretty nice. At this point, I might just go to War Lubbock myself. Draw control. That'd be pretty good to get to. Planet Training, Air Force Academy. Mass through the skies is not far away. Young children across Texas now look to the skies, praying for the day they may join the Ravens, or the Ravens, that circle above their school buses. Nice. Our foreign heroes. Very good. At least we got some of the stuff done. That's nice. Uh, I might as well still become a spy master. That's fine. Let's get some more army XP. Anything else here? We can only get how much political power? 1.87. Not bad. Cancel the lonelies. So after this one, we'll probably go ahead and do national flight shows. Engaging the populace in her skyborne dreams could lead to an even greater interest in her programs. We'll show off our best pilots, impressing our citizens and striking fear into the enemy. And there goes the Navajo Nation. Now someone said, or someone asked, can you release other states as puppets? I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, that's a week left, so let's take a... Oh, well, maybe... Yes, you can. We can still release Lone Star if we wanted to. We can release the Texan Brotherhood, which would actually probably be a good thing to do in the play as them. But, yes, we can release who we've pretty much annexed and cored, literally, as puppets. So, I mean, we could. I don't see the point of doing that. So, nice. National flight shows. And what do we got over here? James Longstreet. Abner Jackson. Linguist. Uh, Abner Jackson, why not? I don't feel like looking too much. Hounds a day. There they, those people go. Well, screw it. Wait. Ah, Lone Star has a claim on them, but they never took that advantage. All right, whatever. Scavenge PA will be actually better to use. Uh, can we get this one next? That's slightly ahead of time. Specialized doctrine. Keep going with this one then. That'd be good. And oh, peace conference. Who's died? The res reservation. Oh, cool. And then you guys are going to do Santana. Very nice. Just in case, I would like to throw you guys um, over here so we can move quickly enough. Hopefully that will be enough divisions to help stall Lanius over here. Maybe we can annex them, fully eat them, and then have another way for, to kill off uh, Santana. Which, there's still an open hole here, I know that. Uh, Send power armor, good. So now that we've actually got unlocked, we can actually use that now. And now we get about 2.1-ish political power every day. Not bad. Commem commemorative Air Force. Deputies for deputies? Let's do this one first. Texas has a proud history, and how to better remember it than through our air warriors? Let's remember our great battles all while striving towards new victories. Now, I know I could have taken one of these other focuses that would have, you know, allowed us to just go to war for some of the enemy's territories, but I don't feel like doing that one yet. I want to finish the left side of the tree first. We get enough political power as it is for now. I think we'll be okay. Let's come back over here and keep doing that. Nice. 
very nice. And these guys are still struggling over here. Just fine by me. Struggle, struggle, struggle. So you don't have to come down towards me. So war bonds, caps, more, more caps income. Okay. More army XP would be pretty darn nice. We don't need that. I don't even want to look at that stuff. And ah, eh, more land ticket. That could actually be pretty darn beneficial to us. And oh, we're waiting for them. Like I said. Well, we're still using infantry. Why not? Major businesses. We're gonna go not let armaments because we love power armor here. And don't mess with Texas. All in the name, baby. Our armies' guns aren't just quite enough sometimes, which is where our oversized and overpowered fighters come in. Very nice. We got plenty of equipment now. Well, maybe not really. We need way more of this stuff. That's nice. That's real good stuff. Another one of y'all's, Jerome. Nice, Jerome Schofield. Another infantry division. Government staff for schools. Dinta's gone. Goodbye. Nice. Anything else here? So, our armies are either power armor or like motorized and stuff like that. Motorized. Motorized patrols. Still 20 combo with it, which is pretty nice. Wait, I, if you throw fire bases on. Wait, what are their speed? Minus 5.8. That actually. Support companies are not supposed to lower your speed, but it makes sense because it's a fire base. Even though it gives them massive buffs. Then that would literally be no point to put them on, but fire teams get more defense for now. It's fine. We got demo teams, doggos, doggos, and sidecars. God, that sounds amazing. And you might as well get anti-tank as well. There you go. You're not really that much better than infantry, but whatever. And riders. Oh, uh, so someone said. Oh yeah, another comment said I did two doggos, two different doggos in the same thing. Uh, we got one doggo. Yeah, I think I think yesterday we saw that. So two doggos. Uh, the comments. Do more equestrian war. Uh, I probably will eventually. Just I. I don't know, maybe take a little break from it, and there's so many mods to get to. I'm sorry, man. All right, pretty much everyone watching, there's just so many mods to get to, and don't get me wrong, I love what the devs do with their mods, but sometimes it's just, there's so much, and I can only dedicate so much time. I'm almost playing, like, old, like not even just Oral Blues, but just, like, Hoi Form General, almost as a full-time job, and it's like, wow, it's still not, enough, still not enough time. But the Texan Aero Supremacy. The Texan Commemorative Air Force was a large organization before the war, strangely enough, determined to safeguard the history of aviation. Let us revive this tradition in full with a few more specialized applications, too. This sky is ours, as is an awesome image we got here. Replace the Texan Confederate Air Force with Texan Commemorative Air Force. Nice, more grand attack. Deputies for deputies? Uh, that doesn't that shouldn't hurt us too badly, right? We do our best to create a deeper method of organization throughout our military, signing our deputies further deputies. As odd as it may sound, we'll help to create a more formidable and flexible military. I know last time I played Cho Bang and then created the Provisional Republic of Texas. People really wanted me to take down this route, but this is more for Rusk, so. We're doing it eventually. We're doing it eventually, which is good, good, good. I'm disappointed that Lone Star did not take these guys out earlier, but, you know, whatever. Wow, we are, we are running out of things to build. Okay. We are a little bit too successful right now. We're suffering from success. So build a lot of anti-air then. All over the place. Which honestly is very cheap and easy to make. So it's not going to really help us out that much realistically. Hopefully we go to war and then we can build up some Lubbock. And then go to war with these guys and have a good old time. Make sure we got enough plans for everybody here though. So boom, boom, boom. Light bombardment and fighters. You guys go right there. Light bombardment and fighters, you guys go right there. When you're done, deploy another group of fighters. Or, I guess, cast, technically. There you go. And get another thing. Sometimes, you know, in normal Hoi 4, like, you, you want 100 wings, 100 size wings. Which, actually, you know, when you say 100 size wings, I'm thinking, you know, like, Buffalo Wild Wings. But! And Old World Blues, 50 is fine, because sometimes the air bases, they're in stacks of like 150 or so. It's not too bad to do it like that. You still get the job done. You still put a lot of planes in the air. And that's the most important thing. Uh, what's the point of sending you out if you're just going to come back dumb? Alright, which two armies? These two? That's good. We should be able to push through here pretty quickly, and then start draining Landis' manpower. That's the most important thing here. Air superiority, was it like? Not good enough. Deputies for deputies? I love it. And let's go over here. The head decides. Now it's time to make a critical choice. The first head of state will be sung into the, into the history books, as well as determining the opening place of our nation, which I should have done the other one, that, the TBR, but whatever. Uh, losses, zero. Oh, that's pretty good so far, versus two, five hundred. Not bad. Pretty good so far. Pretty good. 
Um, hope we had 109 divisions, which ain't too bad. Ooh, ooh, come on. Can we actually win this war without losing anybody? Please, 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 please. Let me know. Up, up. We've got... Oh, we won a war without even losing a single man. Now that sounds very Texan. Oh yeah. Anyways, you guys. You're down here. You'll you'll make you'll do great, hopefully. Uh actually don't do that. You can do this by yourself. You guys. Um We're gonna come in anyways. We might as well stack ourselves up. Right here. Three. And just in case as a fallback line, you're gonna go right there. Good luck. Let them come in. Let them come in. Oh. Do you have anything special? Um, inspirational, yeah, that's good. Also, we have these special divisions, which have special forces in them, but we cannot convert them, which is extremely stupid in my opinion, but, you know, whatever. Those are the little divisions from the other group, Lone Star, so. All right, are they not coming in or something? Yeah. Rusk's plan from the TBR. The bounty of tax is both great and un underutilized. Now that we may got something of a, a steady grip on the territories, we should make a dedicated section of government that can rebuild our fledgling state. Are y'all done moving? Y'all are done moving. Oh, that's disappointing. I wonder if this many power armors can uh, defend. Hit and run. Very nice. Let's grab some of this. Walking tankerinos. Oh, they, oh boy, they might be able to. Maybe, maybe not. Let's grab some of this stuff. Reliability. And get some more aquatic combat training. Oh, you guys hold. Don't worry about it. We captured the legionary plans. Very nice. Can eight power armor divisions hold? Oh, it's looking close. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'd hate to be these power armor divisions. They do have anti-air, which at the time of this recording, I believe that the devs are working on adding in anti-air just in case, maybe. Uh, they might actually been able to hold out by themselves, but we'll see. All right, so they've lost 500 guys already. We've lost 57. Not bad. Let's keep an eye on what's going on around here. Oh. This might be a good time to go to war with them, but they have 70, 78,000 manpower. It actually would be a good time to go to war with these guys, actually. Or we can wait for have a bigger struggle. Take on the two pads. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. If you want to read about seizing Louisiana Harbor, please go right ahead. If you like to read about the gasoline flow, please go right ahead. And we formed the TBR. Very nice. Uh, start shipping in the Gulf. Texas Colin. Rebuild the gas fields. Now that the raiders are out of the way, we can begin the refurbishing of the Carthage gas field. Supplementing our power supplies with hefty natural gas income. Very nice. Oh, no, 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 you guys hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. Oh, they're still attacking, that's nice. That's real nice. Uh, there you go, and then there you go. And there you go. I forgot about this too, there you go. Yes, in case. Are they still attacking the line? Oh, yeah, they are. Wow, 26. How many divisions are attacking? Casually, just 19 more divisions attacking. That's not too bad. As long as they're struggling against them, I'm totally okay with that. And they can't break our lines, Lanius. Please not, don't break our lines. They actually still might be able to break our lines, which would be very bad for us. But we'll see what happens, right? All right, any more planes for these guys? Probably. Uh, there you go. We're doing a crap ton of damage. 60, 40 usually? 45 to 46 air damage all the time? Yeah, they're getting, they're just getting attacked, attacked, attacked. Oh my goodness. We've lost almost 500. We've killed off 6,000 though, which isn't very good. We need more. But at the same time, we can just do this too. We can course something here probably. Thank you. They could probably pierce us as well, but you know, it is what it is. Rebuild the gas fields, how about we do to clear the way? Shipping by rail will never be safe until the raiders have been cleared out, and it will never be efficient until we can secure a favorable route for our lines. Where is the enemy's air, like, planes and such? I mean, a lot of our planes are getting shot down too, but still. Over here, Rusk should be getting, learning about, learning quite a bit. Charles Biggins, yeah, Garrus Scourge. Lost probably about a thousand, six hundred some versus eight thousand. Not bad, eight six hundred, not too bad. Clear the way. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. Are we still mobilizing more? Oh, we are. Nice. How much manpower do they have now? Oh, how much manpower do we have? Not enough. Cool, cool, cool. What's their sandwich manpower do they have? At least for the week. They still got plenty of manpower. We'll be here doing this all episode probably. 
just hanging out, trying to kill off more of Lanius' soldiers. Actually, are we making any more of these guys? I kinda don't mind making more of these guys, actually. You can just throw them in wherever, because they can be really extremely useful. And you guys are still training, huh? That's fine. Whatever. Keep training if you need to. Clear the way, my friends, as we shall secure Mission Control. Mission Control in the ruined city of Houston used to be the living heart of the American Space Program. While we won't be going to the moon anytime soon, we could possibly launch a few satellites into the atmosphere if we own the site. Nice. I've actually been to the Space Museum in Houston. It's really cool. Really, really cool place. Alright, who dares wins? Because we'd be grinding out a ton of army XP right now. Holy smokes. I think what I'll do is I want to save two slots, the last two slots for this group, with uh, motorized. I think it'll be kind of nice. Give them a little bit more time, they'll start attacking again, probably. Yep, yep, see, yep, they'll go right on ahead. 76 seconds. They might be mobilizing more men. I mean, they're not losing that many guys, realistically. But, oh, they got a few planes, too, so. Oh, we do have some mini nukes. Look at that. We got some mini nukes. Oh, we're going to need more, way more planes after this, too. Oh, that's not good. Let's get some air docking done, then. That'd be nice. Alright, there you go. And you guys spread yourselves out this way a little bit more. We'll be ready for them then. Field maintenance training's not bad. Uh, we've got more defense. Yeah, that'll be good for now. Command power wise, uh, you can do that one too if you want. Oh, actually, what's up here? Demand and rifle territories? We could. I'm not going to do that yet though. Now let's rebuild the gas fields, shall we? Nice. So. That's fine. Um. We get the Carthage gas. He has more resource efficiency gain, synthetic oil, energy cell gain per energy, and energy cell capacity. And way more energy. My goodness. Yeah, Texas Texas not not difficult. Refurbish old satellites. Uh let's do this one. Rebuild or build a trans Texan line. The landscape is dotted with old metal spines, what used to be an incredibly complex and durable network of rail lines. While we may not be able to recapture that mile with an overhaul of existing lanes and the construction of new ones, we can certainly pay homage to it. Not bad. Lanius is never easy to take out, but obviously right now it ain't too bad. You can create a West Coast section. I don't care. What else we got? We're going to get paid soon? Yes, we are. Anyone else got upgrades here? Yes. Yes. Alright, so he's leading mostly just infantry. Local leader actually might be pretty good. More recon would be pretty good, too. Um, I think I want to go maybe local leader? Animal friend? Hmm. Let's get more recon. Ninja is pretty good. So you can use it on defense as well. Alright, we've only killed 15,000 of them. The 127 divisions are slightly bigger than us. You see some uh, best of the military. We could do that one. Eh. 900 some monies. We can wait. Man, I wish the Alamo chapter would just die. Come on, Edgecito Mexicano. How strong are they now? Oh, they're out of map power. Oh. Well, we might just be able to go to war with them and kill them off before we kill Lanius. Maybe. Ah, of course we captured an operative. Of course we did. How dare you. Yeah, we're out of planes. We're definitely out of planes right now. The other trans Texan line. Very nice. Uh, let's go down to five, maybe, for now. Spread them military factories. Start shipping in the Gulf. The Gulf of Mexico's unique shape would give us an unrivaled ability to trade with the nations all along its coast. Should we have sufficient facilities to house and produce seafaring cargo ships? Good idea. Now, as much as I love going down purity, purity sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know if we really believe in a lot of purity here, but it's really about, more about our principle, in which our entire army gets more recount, which is just yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Riders looking not too bad. Ride control. I don't think we can throw in fire bases. That would actually give us more armor. Look at that. We lose a little bit more organization. Um, Speed-wise, we, we would actually hurt our speed quite a bit. But 49 more defense. Fit, almost 16 more soft attack. Holy crud. That would actually be really nice, but... Because everything else hurts our armor, except for this. And that even hurts our organization. I think, I think we're okay where we're at. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys ever use... When you use power armor, do you use mobile fortifications? That seems kind of wild, to be honest with you. It seems kind of pretty darn wild to me. 
Jesus. They're barely going down in manpower, even though we've killed quite a few thousand of them. Uh, there's speed research. Did they get more population? They have recruitable population back for the Eastern Legion. Tip of the sword? Not bad. Pretty good, actually. So haven't played them yet. Guerrilla Gu Legacy. Not bad. Rejection of Automation makes sense. And Cold of Mars, of course. Man, they are just giving their all right now. Start shipping in the Gulf. Very nice. Air superiority, thank you very much. And Texas Colin. Let's do the Rusk's plan. Rusk views their situation in a militaristic lot, surrounded by, at best, untrustworthy, untrustworthy neighbors. Our priorities must lie with defending ourselves and our people. Begin shipping in the Gulf. Lose construction speed and consumer goods. That's fine with me. More fleet coordination. You give our 10% more political power. Spotting speed max, uh, max. Naval factor range. Caps income. Not bad. Build the trans section line. Lose even more construction speed and consumer goods. Every own state. Add four infrastructure. I'm going to do that one last probably. Just because that look, sounds really, really good. And since we're here, we're going to do some more dive bombing. That'd be very nice. Dive bombing, Bobby. You're going to be a dive bomber. Yeah, that was actually really, really good to do last. Um, realistically, we're doing we're doing really well, and we're still mobilizing more. So, um, yeah, and they just I don't know. We kill off only twenty one thousand, which is a little disappointing. I want to kill off more, but they do have quite a few planes themselves for now. Rusk's plan: defensive militarism. A strong military does not necessitate wants and aggression. Our people will always be ready for war, but only as a defensive measure. Only as a defensive measure. Yeah, seriously, we are ready to go. Oh, now they pulled off more divisions, and they're slowly losing here too. So that's not bad. Scavenger turn trumpet, finally. Electronics bonus, not bad, not bad. All right, anywhere else? Oh, we can core this off, maybe even Lubbock. Um, eleven thousand, eleven thousand, eleven thousand. Yeah, let's go to this one first. There we go. We can go to war from three hundred. I thought we get a core reduction. Do we not get a coring reduction? Get a 10% reduction in coring costs. And this this doesn't save for Texas, but we're still coring Texas. Lubbock is in Texas. So that seems a little bugged as well. That doesn't make any sense. 300 is the cap that no matter what you have. So that seems a little bugged, but maybe that's just me. Let's go put uh, these guys in their place since they're out of manpower, right? Yeah, they're completely out, so that'd be nice. Call all allies. We're going in, son. Come on. C please, come on. You've got to come in. Oh, you son of a... You son of a bad word. I will ki I'm going to kick you out of the faction and kill you off then. You deserve nothing but death then. How dare you betray us? Unity of Austin has betrayed us? How dare you? You wanted a few more days? No. Absolutely not. You son of a gun. You let them in our lands. I'm killing them off. 100%. There is no redemption for crap like that. How dare you? Um, anyways. Uh, war propaganda? Yeah, we could probably do that. Investment falling through. Cut our losses, that's fine. Save our money for now. Uh, we don't really need that anymore, so. We don't need drastic measures either. Yeah, we're just. Wow. Uh, they have a little bit of a hole there, but whatever. Wow, look at that. We've already killed off only 2,400 of them. Kind of sucks. Give me these guys. We're going to deploy them a little bit early. Lone Star. That's enough organization, probably. There you go. Yep, like I said, enough organization. Come on, moving down. Good, good, good. Kill off these stupid militia divisions. Uh, sure. Oh, oh, you guys actually beat the the last patrol. Look at that, nice. Moxman ship doctrine, very good. Let's grab some recovery rate. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't think Santa Ana would be this easy. I was expecting a much more difficult, uh, you know, conflict with these guys. But hey, not too bad. Not too bad. And then we shall do... Measured in freedom. We've been proud to build a nation of personal freedoms and responsibility. To think of ourselves as anything other than a free people is fatalistic and fearful. Our respect for each other is what matters the most. And guys, you don't need to defend against them down there. Um. Alright, Spokane. 
How do they have unique books? They look kind of cool they did, though. There we go. Now they got orders. He's got to re right click on them, so. Yeah, these guys are a bit crazy. They're about 2,000 against them, probably. They've cut off 28, 28, 9,000 of them. Not too bad. I know they're pretty darn strong, but still. And this opens literally up another fun against these guys, so that's not good. And there's some serious lag here, huh? There you go. Nice. Formation flying. Let's grab some of our preemptive interception, shall we? Yes, we shall. All right, Lubbock, come on. Get more compliance, please. Santa Ana should fall relatively soonish, right? Dive bombing? Nice, nice, nice. Keep going. Santa Ana's going to die. We'll split our territory hopefully equally between us and them. They're still attacking us, which is not good. Um, you guys keep doing what you're doing for now, though. You'll be all right. You guys are actually doing okay against these guys. Not bad. Good, 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 good. Get to Reno. So that might be all we need, really, realistically. We got McAllen, Texas, which is good. Recon infiltration. Let's go and grab some warrior code. Very good stuff. Very, very good. Sixty-three thousand. Well, they're starting to lose quite a bit more manpower. That's nice to see. Oh, you guys are done. No, you ain't. Twice in two lifetimes, my friends. Measuring freedom and spread freedom. Our people are lucky to live here. But what about those who aren't so lucky? Despots and tyrants threaten their villagers more than they do us. But that is an excuse or terror. We have a duty to all those suffering. A duty to bring the Texan to them, bringing the Texan way of life. Fair and nice. My apologies for my mispronunciations. And don't forget about this too. Operations. Oh, they're going to last forever. Where's the capital? Ah, La Pesca, that, that'll fall soon enough, so I'm not too worried about it. And we're actually pushing in through here, huh? 34,000 dead, not bad. How much damage have we done, personally? 9,000? Not bad, not bad. We're using just infantry, we are pushing down through here, not too shabby. Come on, guys. Oh, La Pesca's fallen. Forlorn slipway, good, good, good. Yeah, I don't know what I have another manpower, but it's so bad. Yeah, they're still attacking us, and they're still beating up some of our own divisions. Which ain't very good, but that's alright. And once these guys are gone, we're just going to finish off everybody else, so. Good, good, good. How are we doing up here? They still have a lot of divisions, and we're still pushing them out, which is nice. Oh, uh, Santa Ana's about to die. That's good. We killed off 40,000 landings of soldiers. Hopefully they start running out of equipment sometime very soon. 56,000, not bad. Oh, look at that. Look at all those gliders. They're all gone. That's so good. They still have probably quite a few barrage balloons in the air. Uh, let's look at basic melee. Oh, they got plenty of basic melee. Yeah, they got plenty of that stuff. But without them having enough planes. Oh, they have only 14 planes. That helps out so much. I mean, don't get me wrong. We lost quite a few planes ourselves, but still. Machine assisted decryption. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Spread, spread freedom. The economic sectors. Although some parts of the real might think they rule the TWA just because it's part of their republic for over a century, the continued unrest in the TWA shows that they belong to Texas. It's even in their name. Nice. Yeah, more strategic bombing because we're not always going to be able to get more air XP. Oh, forlorn slipway. They're done. After we get that, they're done. Nice. Well, we did it. That was actually super easy compared to what I thought it would be. I thought we might need another episode after this to take out just Santa and ourselves. Alright, Bureau Mexicana, I'm going to give you what you want first. You ain't going to get a lick of Texas, though. Actually, that's fine. I'm taking all the rest of this. I'll screw the Super Mutants. I'm killing them off. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. So everyone, come right here. And get ready to go up to Dog City. Well, you guys did pretty darn well yourselves. Not bad. Alamo chapter I would love to take out, which actually we might be able to. Just this one army, maybe, maybe not. 
Uh, go with ninja again. Ninja's usually pretty darn good. Uh, trust in ninjas. Oh, uh, yeah, we're out of balloons ourselves, which ain't very good. Oh, very nice. And then we'll do, uh, cool. Uncivil, uncivil and civilian unrest, you want to read about that? Please go right ahead. Remove your resistance. The liberal state. The nations that flourish are those that respect as people. Our liberal val state values clear to find rules for ourselves, while enabling the individual citizen to establish a future for themselves. Very cool. Cool. Looking to ban our apple territories, which we will soon enough. And let's go ahead and see. Love it. 300. So much pee pee. Now we're going to go on the offensive. Screw it. Attack them at the same time. Nothing but extreme attacks against these savages, these barbarians. Oh, yes. Self soldiers down there. I don't really care about Mexico too much. Freeform. Closer support. Very nice. Another division. Not too shabby. Welcome to the fold. Wait, Austin joins. While it remains to be seen whether the city of Austin would join us with their recent victory against the remnants of Addis' armies, put them into a position where they no longer have to fear for the survival of us. Keats has begun the necessary work for a proper integration of Austin into the New Texan Republic. Welcome to the fold. We get super mutant auxiliaries. Okay, we don't have to kill them off. Whoa, why did you guys get so big? Oh, too big. Not cool. Alright, that's the case. That's all right. Uh, who can we go to war with then? You need Austin, they're gone. Patrolmen, well, they're with us already. Houston Rockets and Sapphire Warband. Well, we killed them off already. Lois, take Lois, okay. Well, they're gone. Oh, no, they're not. They're still right here. That's okay. Well, all right then. Force the attack through. What if you force the attack? What if we went down here? The liberal state. All right. And. Deputies for deputies for deputies. As before, a deeper expansion into our armed structure might enhance our capabilities even further. Well, let's hope so. We're going to need way more planes. And we're going to need to uh, not be open to traders as much. Discourage traders. Yeah, let's go do that. we got plenty of resources for now. That's very nice. Um, you guys keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Don't get me wrong. Power armor. Good lord. I hope you're learning a lot. Pain trains. Nice. Gun nut. Robotics. Get more attack. Kill all of them off. Oh, these guys have got all encircled. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is at least 60 divisions, right? Yeah, it was 60. Uh, that is 46 plus 13. 46 plus 13 is usually 59. 59, 60. 70 divisions are trapped right here. That has got to be terrifying if you're trapped there. Oh, my goodness. 70 divisions, right? Oh, jeez. Someone say a prayer for the evil in there. Which you want inspirational, actually. Most of my bad. Go with more attack. And do we have claims? Oh, we have claims on these guys. But how about on oh, Alamo? We do not have... Oh, my goodness. Well, we better start doing that, then. I'm going to have you guys help out, too. Just in case. Oh, didn't we... There's invisible ink. Instead of this, scavenge, that's just better. Just better overall. There you go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Go right ahead when you can. You guys go right ahead when you can so, as well. Three. Deputies for deputies for deputies. Second battle for Hoover Dam. Texas calling. Radios, telephone lines, broadcasting, and amplification stations. All part of what could be a wide range and chain of information structure spanning the whole of Texas. Very nice. All right, so now they're... Tw wow. They have only 21 divisions left. We killed 82,000 of them. Not bad. Go in and eliminate the, the enemies. Warrior Co. We ain't done with our land auction yet, but we'll get combined arms. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, they're splitting out over here, but that's alright, whatever. Infrastructure prioritization, non ontological bombing. Sounds very nice this time of year. Oh, please, do get rid of them. Very good. Oh, tasty. Beautiful in the Houston Rockets. Oh, Houston. Been a while since I've been there. Yeah, I know this. Actually, no. We, we will take these guys out, too. And maybe call an episode. Or campaign, really. Just because there's not much else here. We have nothing else to really take out. Um, we've done a great job against Lanius, which I figured we would do. We did a tremendous job against uh, Santa Ana, even though he was already fighting a war beforehand. But yeah, we don't talk about that. Uh, let's go with maybe slightly more max planning. I think that got nerfed. I thought it used to be 10%, but maybe I'm wrong. Local leader. Eh, cutting to the fox. That's pretty good, too. And they just keep going in and in and in. Oh, where's that motorized? Give me them. 
Cut all these guys off, and then go down here or something. Texas calling. Refurbish old satellites. With mission control in our grasp, we can start dusting off some of the old satellites that have, that have been preserved and storage since the war. Weather, GPS, and spy satellites will give us an unmatched edge in the battlefield. Let's hope so. Are we missing something here? Dogs? And if Oh, wow. Dogs and infantry armor. That actually makes a lot of sense why we don't have enough of that. Do we not have... We're not making... Okay, that's a big problem then. We need a lot of that, and we're going to need a lot of this. Um... Do we, are we are we seriously out of you know we got more than enough guns, holy crud. Drag it around support, that's nice. Cool. Ah, more divisions, very good. Nice, cool. Alright, we ready to go? I think we are. Let's see what happens. Send the power armor. Tell them the force attack. We cannot use. Hold on. Uh, we need to man all the territories. It doesn't really matter. Air bases. Where are the air bases? Because we do have nukes. But we can't use them. Uh, and I know so. That was what, another comment saying that. You, you just look at like force attack, last stand, officer stat, or, you know, wait, staff, officer plans maybe? Soft, uh, staff, office plans, but then like, you're just supposed to be able to use them. Like, like in a command of power ability. That's what I'm trying to say. Man, words are difficult for me sometimes. But we obviously can't do that, which is a real sucky thing. Actually, how much? Man, we still got plenty of money. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty, tatty. How are we looking up here? Oh, you guys are. Well, y'all are done. You should get ready for the invasion of the Alamo. Round two. How dare you exist? Shame, shame, shame. Uh, these 24 divisions should be able to do it by themselves, right? Dog City be ours. Economic resurgence, very, very good. Keep going, going, going. They'll do fine. I'm not too worried about it. They have 24 divisions versus 17. They're almost dead. They've, we've killed off 88,000 of them. And is, is that it for the focus tree? I guess it is. Well, that's okay. I mean, it, I wouldn't say it was great. This part of the focus tree, the early per first part of the focus tree was pretty good, I'd say. But after that, I'm just like, like I said, it, it feels just a wee bit disappointing. Just a wee bit. There could be a bit more. More flavor, more polish, maybe. But maybe I'm just asking probably for too much. That's probably just it. But then again, I mean, you saw the descriptions. They weren't completely, you know, finished and stuff, which was very, very weird. Like, th there's no description there, which uh, I'm sure the devs are probably working on it, but... Uh, the tale is recording. It's been a while since uh, this update came out, so, huh. You never know. Actually, you could probably just race up to cut them off and then go to Dog City proper. Race, race, race. Oh, never mind. You don't need to do that. Alright, pretty good. And since we're waiting for other stuff to get done real quick, I'm not even going to just do it off screen just because I don't want to do fade and fade outs. Uh, build some infrastructure. And not bad. And it won't take that long to get over there since we can probably watch. Actually, just build up Texas. Even though we don't even have to do this. We take that. I think. Do we ever take that one focus that gives us more like infrastructure in every state? I might have. That might have been a mistake. Oh well. Very nice. And we can core more stuff too. Invest a lot of stimulus because we got a lot of money to go and do that. Go and do that because we need more manpower. Not really. That's a lie, but whatever. Uh, here we go. Texas calling. You get Texan broadcasting service. More 20% more political power. More weekly manpower by 25. Plus 1% weekly stability. Less just five world goals times. Plus 0 0.05 daily complex. Texas is... Texas I mean, it's, it's too easy. It's it, I wouldn't say it's too easy. For a starter nation, I might recommend the Texan Brotherhood then. Not Lone Star because that civil war is actually pretty difficult when it begins. It's not easy. But, holy crap, I mean, that's, of course, by the time you get here, you're probably already going to be a pretty strong power, so, but even then, it's like, wow, just, just wow, 20% more political power, more daily compliance, better justify war goals times, what more could you really ask for? Free cores? I mean, sure, some things are a little bugged here and there, but, you know, whatever, it's just, just wow, that's all I can say, it's just wow. There you go. How much political power do we get a day with no focus? 3.43 political power every single day. Good lord. Save my soul. 
and uh, it doesn't like I said it doesn't even matter about research anymore like champions of virtue is nice we might get that done research before the war breaks out between us and the Alamo chapter but Texas is looking pretty strong but we do have one more contender after this and that is Pecos County which is weird that we do not get a claim on them we're trying to get all of Texas right maybe I'm wrong hmm I didn't even use any of this at all, huh? Oh, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, this stuff. Is, oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was a decision we had to take for this. Yeah, that was decision stuff. Sixty-one thousand manpower, not too bad. And fifty more days. Actually, that's pretty. That's pretty darn quick. We're not even going to stop here. Nope, no more stopping. No more stopping. Uh, two weeks for that. That's not too bad. But realistically, like holy cow, it's going to do bad. Hard and soldiers. We can use a little bit more political power. We get still point three point two nine every day. Screw it. Put you guys here in the Alamo too, just so that we can get a lot more uh, knowledge about like what they have. Oh, they they don't even have enough divisions for the entire front. Wow. Just just wow. It's fine. Don't do that. I don't even care about the technology anymore. It doesn't matter. And sure, why not? Strategic destruction's fun. Uh, how much vampire do we get every week? Three hundred. 404, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, really not bad. As much as I want to get Catherine Turney for this one, uh, division speed not, might not be bad. Eh, go, go, get more speed. That's fine. Almost 300 factories, just commander training. Very nice. So we'll take out these guys, and then we'll take out those guys, and they'll call it a campaign, which I'm waiting to finish justification first, because then it'll be easier, hopefully, to just find Pecos Colony. At least that's the hope. But obviously, we'll see. And get more defensive for now. It's fine. Get another one done. And nice. Get some helmets. We could always use a few more helmets, right? Hopefully, it won't take too long to go to war with those guys and Pecos Colony. Oh. Yeah, we're still training. We should be done training soon, though. I mean, a lot of these guys are already done. All right, there we go. Three. Two. One. Ab this should be absolute decimation. Are they doing last? They are doing last stand here. Look at that. Yep, they're doing last stand. Look at that. Oh, they're just strength. They're just. They knew they had no chance. It's literally the siege of the Alamo for them. Holy crud! Nice. Oh, that was the wrong group. Ah, it doesn't matter at this point. It really doesn't matter. Alamo chapter, you chose the wrong fight, and let's just go ahead and begin just fine on these guys. Oh, that's so much better. Two months, so that's not bad. And if you guys are still watching, I do appreciate it. I really do. Very, very nice. Uh, there's probably not going to be enough supply down here, actually. It's alright, though. we will find a way. Life finds a way. Let's do that. And then cut you guys down in half. I kind of wish the last patrol actually won against Oklahoma. It makes it e much easier to deal with. So there's one army instead of three different armies to deal with. Oof. But you know what? Texas almost looks like the Provisional Republic. Almost. Looks like the... Well, without... We should have had... Actually, we can get rid of one of these guys, too. Oh, yeah, we can. That's actually pretty good. Okay, we'll do that, too. Um, what I'm trying to say, it looks like what it used to be what the Texas claimed territory after the Texan War of Independence. This is my opinion. Um, you know what? Screw you guys from here, too, then. I almost forgot you guys. How did I forget that? How did I forget that Am Amarillo was a part of Texas? Or is a part of Texas? How did I forget that? How did I forget that? Shame on me. Cool. Everyone's doing this stuff too. We got that. Watch it for spies. That would be very, very nice. Strategic destruction. Future airports. Thank you. Let's go right on in. We should do relatively okay here. And we finished our land auction. Very nice. Grenade rifles. I forgot about that stuff too. Look at that. Alright, boys and girls. Keep going in. Just force the attack. Kill them all off. And let God sort them out. Oh, they're coming up through here. That's fine. Whatever. Kill, 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 kill. Defensive armaments. Get some more range. Drop tanks are usually good to get. All right. Thank you for playing, Sapphire Warband. Not bad. There you go. Good luck. And send half you guys down here too. Almost forgot about them. Almost. Oh yeah, we're suffering a lot of supply issues, but you know what? What else is new? Um, no, we're good, guys. The war's over. The war's already been won. Y'all can go home now. As soon as they heard about the war, they 
We already won, probably. And we got how many more days left as we're just letting time go on? Watch out for spot. Oh. About halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Oh, we need suicide pills. Cool. Uh, oh, let's do this one too. Because we can. Economic advisors. Uh, there's nothing here that gives a better justified war goals time, so. Max factories in the state, which I love for TNO. But no slavery. Oh, we no slavery? What, what is that about? Oh, technically, hot blooded commander. Yeah, we get less defense. Technically, we could use her actually now since we get better. We could do that. Oh, that wouldn't be too bad. You do get another operative. Yeah, this one, Catherine Turney. We killed off your stupid little chapter. Well, sweet mama, we love Catherine here. And we get another right, one right there. Nice. Wait, what did she give us exactly? Another operative. 25% more recon, which is pretty strong. More encryption, decryption will help you in combat so much. So, Intel Necro gain strength. Let's see how fast we can get this. Let's see. Just send him one. Let's do some tech. Uh, operations. 2%. Nice. Grenade rifles. Nice, 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 nice. Better that stuff. Good. We got 92,000 manpower. Not enough, but we'll have to deal with it. Do we have any deficit of anything? No. We got plenty of stuff going on right now. 700 extra planes each for casts and fighters. And we got about five days left. Wow, they got a lot of stuff here. Labor treaties, police protection. And... Oh, oh, the speech air force. Sorry. There we go. Oh, you guys can just go on ahead. There, oh, and, okay. Well, we killed 200 some. Not bad. We get Lucas 100, because we can. About a thousand dead. There you go. 23 divisions, hope we can overrun a few. 22. Not bad, 21. 20. Not doing as much damage as I would have really liked, but whatever. Mechanized training, not too bad. Pecos is ours. Recon kits, because we can. And 5,000, 6,000. Can we hit 7,000? Come on. Oh, we can't quite hit 7,000, but I guess that's going to be it for us, friends. We captured the plans after they died. Go figure, but I think, like I said, that's going to be it. There's not much else here. We could go to war with the Kaz's Legion, but there's, we're literally doing the focus tree by the third episode. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and recommend me some other campaigns to try out sometime. Thanks for watching, though, and have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.